<sighs> I can go watch some TV. Let's see you on today. Nickelodeon? Should I do Nickelodeon? Today is Nickelodeon's worldwide day of play. Turn off your TV. Shut down your computer. Put down that cell phone. Yes, you. And go all out. We'll see you back here at 3. Oh, are you freaking kidding me, bruh? What the heck is this? Oh, bruh. Oh, bruh. Are you freaking kidding me? This is not even acceptable. Like, what the heck is this, bruh? Do, do, do you know what this is? Because I sure don't. I don't like it. I don't know about you, but I definitely don't like it. <sighs> All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, today's video... First video, Nickelodeon's Worldwide Day of Play. The Worldwide Day of Play started in like 2004. And I just remember being so terrified of a black screen with just Worldwide Day of Play just splattered across the screen. So scary. But they also had this voice, like this crazy voice in the background. I mean, the, the one I just saw, it wasn't that bad. But the one back then was just creepy. That's a lady. The other guy was a man. Hey, don't just sit there. It's Nickelodeon's worldwide day of play. That's not even the worst part. It started over and over and over again. And it's like, bruh, what are you doing? It, it doesn't make any sense. Kids don't want this. Kids not going outside to play games. They're not playing basketball, football. They're not doing that. Athletes do that. People that watch Nickelodeon aren't athletes, man. Come on. Think. Use your brain cells. They're not outside playing. That is freaking retarded. I mean, look. I mean, no one wants to go out and play. They want to watch Nickelodeon. Yes, they do. All kids want to be inside playing videos, watch, playing video games, watching TV, and playing with action figures. And you know what the crazy thing is? If they did want to play outside, it'll be raining. It'll be thunderstorming. And it's raining. Well, it just stopped raining, but I, I'm. It's like ridiculous. I, I, I never wanna like do worldwide tape play ever. What? What are you thinking? And the crazy thing is, they don't make it an annual, yearly thing. Well, they technically did, but it's not the same date. Have a day. Have a specific day month then i could see i could see kids are like going outside if it's on a specific day yearly kind of like a holiday yeah you, they're all random kids like they don't want to go outside and play they want to play on their psps they want to play in their dsi playing mario kart against their friends or whatever kind of what i did <laughs> kind of what i did during the time wow man i missed my psp for real Wish I had it on me. I'll show you guys it right now. That's literally what I was doing, to be honest. Or I would just switch the channel to Disney Channel, Cartoon Network, whatever. Whatever was available. But ahead of the time, they made Nick 2. And Nick 2 is basically like a three-hour delay for Nickelodeon. So if the Worldwide Day of Play comes on, boom, you could switch it to Nick 2. Those who had Nick 2 were very lucky people. I had it a little later during my childhood. Nick 2 was definitely the go-to if the Worldwide Dead Play come on. Cause after three hours of watching Nick 2, Worldwide Dead Play will start on Nick 2. Then you could change it back to regular Nick and then you'll see like sports events like obstacle courses. They started the obstacle courses like around 2011 I think. And they're kind of late now that I think about it like 2008 was when Barack Obama was president, right? So they kind of made it like a big deal that Michelle Obama was going to be like, whoa, like this big deal, like part of this event. You know what I'm saying? Had people that acted in iCarly. I think they had some from Victorious or 
any other shows, but let's get you real. iCarly was literally the best show on Nickelodeon during the time. To be honest, Drake Bell. Drake Bell. <laughs> that would have been fire seeing Drake and Josh on the event. That would be fire. And crazy thing is, I don't even know if they did that. But this event is kind of like, it's kind of making me think that they was trying to compete with Disney. You know the Disney, the Disney Channel games? I feel like it was kind of like trying to compete with that in its own way, but flopped. Disney Channel all the way up here, Nickelodeon all the way down here. They doing bad, cause that three hour thing was terrible. I mean, at least play the shows, right? And then encourage people to play outside. Then at three o'clock, Boom, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, then at 3 o'clock, you can have the events of play. Because then kids going to be like, oh, shoot, that's actually kind of fun. Let's make our own thing. Let's make our own obstacle course. At least do something like that. But y'all blew it. Like, it, it was so bad. I was so scared. <laughs> I'm like, I'm scared of watching it now. Like, bruh, why? Why, bruh? It just gives me so much like anxiety just thinking about it. This is not even good. Like this was not even a good idea to begin with. They definitely could have thought of something way better, but it flopped. It didn't really do good. Kids like they didn't like it, and it started in 2004. So why not do it that date? I I just looked it up actually, and it started in October. October as a date to I think it was like October 24th, 2004. But October as a date to like go outside and play, it's fall, I think. It's fall, cold, and <laughs> no kids is gonna wanna play in October. Trust me, they're not. Plus, Halloween is right around the corner. So, what in the world? Like, that's not a good day. That's not a good um, season, after all. At least spring or summer. Well, I feel like mostly summer, cause. <laughs> That's when kids are free. That's when kids are not in school. They're not stressing about homework. None of that. Unless you have summer school. I feel bad for those that have summer school. But, actually, no, 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 Scratch out summer. Because we do not want the kids to pass out, bruh. If they had a worldwide day of play in the summertime and they did the obstacles, I'm telling you. Those kids, those actors would have passed out on live television, bruh. And I'm not saying I would have laughed, because that's not a good sight to see. So, at least springtime. At least spring. Because fall is kind of cold. Yeah, that's it. That's all I got to say. It was really bad. It was terrible. Uh, I'm pretty sure nobody liked it at all. Like, not one person enjoyed the Worldwide Day at Play. People rather watch the Disney Channel games than the Worldwide Day of Play events they had on there. They had concerts. The only good thing about Worldwide Day of Play was that, like, in general. Ariana Grande was there singing. I, I just remember, this is muscle memory. I didn't look anything up off this, but Ariana Grande was there. Big Time Rush, they were singing their song. That's literally the only good thing that came out of all of this. Because I think Ariana Grande, uh, she skyrocketed. Like, soon as um she was in the Worldwide Dead Play, boom, like her career just went up. Because I just remember, like, being so hyped to see her finally perform on TV. The match was crazy, and it was kind of cool to see. Literally the only thing good. But hey, the events, the best out of the courses. That's going to have to be like a separate video from this one. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And also let me know, what do you think about the Worldwide Day of Play? Because I feel like, I feel like it was just a terrible, like it was just garbage. Honestly, I just feel so bad for the kids. But I'm also glad they don't do it again. <laughs> they don't do it again. It stopped 2017. And I think they're not coming back with it at all which is good more more people now need it like now than they did back then because like kids nowadays i don't know i really don't well see you guys next time